Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. Our vlog is all about science and technology, and I am Alejo Villarosa with my bromate, Lani Abala, Florilisa Pacquiao, and Francica Mudlo. We are the group three. Let's go. between the two. Science is a systematic enterprise that builds an organized knowledge in the form of explanation and prediction about nature and the universe. Technology is the collection of techniques, methods, or processes used in the production of goods and, or services or the accomplishment of objectives, such as scientific investigation or any other consu consumer demands. Science may drive technological development by generating demand for a new instrument to address a scientific question or by illustrating techni technical possibilities previously con unconsidered. In turn, technology may drive scientific investigation by creating a need for technological improvements that can only be produced through research and by raise raising questions about the underlying principle that a new technology relies on. Among the most significant events in the recent history of long-distance communication have been building of computer-based communication network and development of technologies that have made possible an implementation and exploitation of this network. In this chapter, we focus on these technologies and on the challenges and opportunities for human factors research with the process. Robotics is an interdisciplinary branch of engineering and science that includes mechanical engineering, electronic engineering, information engineering, computer science, and others. Robotics involves designs, construction, operations, and use of robots, as well as computer systems for their perceptions, control, sensory feedback, and information processing. The goal of robotics is to design intelligent machines that can help assist humans in their day-to-day -day lives and keep everyone safe. Robotics develop machines that can substitute for humans and replicate, replicate human actions. Robots can be used in many situations and for lots of purposes. But today, many are used in dangerous environments, including inspections or radioactive materials, bomb detection and deactivation, manufacturing process or processes or where humans cannot survive. In highlight, in space, underwater, in high heat, and clean up the containment of hazardous, hazardous materials and radiation. Robots can take on any form but some are made to resemble humans appearance that is said to help in to help in the acceptance of a robot in certain replicative behaviors usually performed by people. Such robots attempt to replicate walking, lifting, speech, cognition, or any other human activity. Many of today's robots are inspired by nature, contributing to the field of bio-inspired robotics. CCTV footage, closed circuit television or CCTV, also known as video surveillance, is the use of video cameras to transmit a signal to a specific place on a limited set of monitors. It differs from broadcast television on the signal is not openly transmitted, though it may employ point-to-point, point-to-multipoint, or mesh wired or wireless links. Though almost all video cameras fit this definition, the term is most often applied to those used for surveillance. 
in areas that may need monitoring such as banks, stores, and other areas where security is needed, though video telephony is seldom called CCTV. One exception is the use of video and distance education, where it is an important tool. Surveillance of the public using CCTV is common in many areas around the world. In recent years, the use of body-worn video cameras has been introduced as a new form of surveillance. Often used in law enforcement with cameras located on a police officer's chest or head. Video surveillance has generated significant debate about balancing its use with individuals' right to privacy even within public.